Assalamu alaikum dear friends I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifullah engineer at site youtube channel my dear friends today we will discuss the daily progress report for the construction projects in this video I will tell you in details which kind of data you have to put in the construction daily progress report and from where you will get the data so you have to watch the full video from the start till the end without skipping any part of the video if you are a new viewer so please subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share it with your friends dear friends before starting this video i want to clarify one thing every project client and company has their own progress report format but the what are the common things in all progress reports i will tell you first about that in every and each progress report you have to put data about the manpower which is present at site equipment which are using at site daily activity progress safety activities and man hours toolbox meeting material receiving at site and fixtures of the activities these are the common things of every and each progress report but today i will show it in my daily progress report so here is the name of the project report here you have to put the date contract number if applicable location weather you have to also update the weather if it's sunny cloudy rainy the temperature which you can get from your mobile report number it's one report two three four whatever you are on the so you have to put the report number here and your company name main contractor company name now this is the contract a uh, contractor main power indirect direct what is the difference between indirect main power and direct main power indirect main power are the management engineers who are working at site who are working at offices and also at site they are indirect main power direct main power are labor supervisor general foreman like technician like that they are direct main power so you have to put the how many engineers supervisor foreman electrician carpenter plumber uh, mason steel fixer you have at site you have to put here in this area from where you will get this data you will get this data from the timekeeper or the site admin so you have to get the data from site admin or timekeeper and you have to update this section as per that available data now the second portion here is about the contractors equipment which kind of equipment you are using at site and how many in numbers you have to put it here like bobcat 2 forklift 1 here we are using the air compressor jack hammers now the question from where you will get this data you will get this data from the logistic team the logistic team will provide this data on daily basis and you have to update the data in your project progress report whatever the data you will put here it will come here now the subcontractor equipment are the subcontractor main for if there are any subcontractor who are working at site so you have to put their data here in this area if day shift night shift if any kind of equipment used by the subcontractor so you have to put it here now project main hour summary in this section you don't have to put anything it will come direct by formula of excel whatever you put it here in this section uh, your company main power section and subcontractor main power section so your their project hour summary will come automatically if there any contact list from the subcontractor available so you have to put it here now in this section you is pro safety department sap main day sap main hours hsc induction conducted toolbox meeting internal training emergency drill incident near misses data for this section will be provided by the hsc department you will get the data from the safety engineer or safety officer and you have to put it here on daily basis now the important section which will be filled by a site engineer because the site engineer will prepare the uh, daily progress report here 
here the number number mean the like how many activities you have to so you have to hear the serial number building name boq item uh, progress so you have to hear write the boq pro, uh, items for this purpose you have the boq of your project and what are the boq reference number you have to put it here for the activity after that here you have to be specific with the activity that which kind of activity is going on at site you have to write here and what are the boq rep reference number or the boq name for that activity you have to write here in this section here in this area you have to write the actual quantity in the boq for that activity in this area in this section today quantity the quantity which you completed at that day you have to put it here in this area the remaining quantity of the total quantity so you have to minus this uh, total quantity from the actual quantity in bq and the remaining quantity you have to put it here like this is in case 100 stepner columns you did today 10 stepner column remaining is a uh, 50 and till date is 50 so how today you completed 10 columns before today you completed 40 columns so you have to add this 10 to that 40 it will come 50 and you have to subtract uh, minus this 50 from the total so you will get the remaining quantity and you have to do this uh, thing for all the activity which going on outside but there are some activities which are not not included in the BQ like wastage of demolished material removing from site so for this no need to put any quantity because there is nothing in the BQ so you have to write in progress or it's going on outside continuously asphalt demolition how many asphalt we demolish so you have we have to write it here total demolished quantity is this and you have to if the total quantity is available in the BOQ so you have to minus this activity from that total quantity and you have to here uh, write here the remaining quantity lean concrete for this grade so this day we didn't do anything for the lead concreting excavation of some pits and trenches today we excavated the area 60.4 meter cube and the total excavation is 300 cubic meter so th this is very simple i will try to explain this uh, section again serial number for the activity here you have to write refurbishment terminal 1 and terminal 2 this is the building name or you have to write the, the activity name which is in the boq in this area you have to write the specific activities which going on at site in this area you uh, section you have to still you have to write the actual uh, BQ quantity in this section what you did at site the remaining quantity and tell date the total quantity which you completed at site after this daily activity daily uh, details of daily work activities you have to come here material delivered to the site so here you have to write the description of the material quantity order how many quantity order how many quantity you received before total quantity till the in cubic meter quantity and the remaining quantity you have to fill this area with the the, the, the material which you receive uh, at site with the all detail and you will get the detail for this section from the store department the store department will provide you the detail about the material which you receive at site because they will give you the delivery notes and fio number mr request so you can fill this section easily from that detail after this work progress photos here in this section you have to provide the work progress photos if there is a cleaning housekeeping toolbox meeting demolition any activity which is going on at site you have to take picture and you have to update in this section so guys 
and you have to update this section by daily basis like you can't use the old fixtures so guys this was the daily progress report for the construction project if you have any question in this daily progress report so you can ask in the comment section and also you can contact me through my social networks instagram facebook linkedin links are available for my social networks in the description of the video and also in the about section of the channel thank you so much for watching the video subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share it with your friend thank you so much